Hello guys and welcome to my first video in the new season 3. The game you're about to see was literally the first game not only in the season but in the day. I woke up and updated then I went straight in because I was so excited to try the new Mac 10. You guys already know how much I love SMGs and we finally got a new toy that can actually compete with the current meta. There is also another big surprise that I didn't expect to see but I used a ground loot AK117 and I was shocked to see how easy it is to control this gun. It gave me the old season 5. I'm sure many of you remember the good old days when the AK-117 was a laser. Well it's not as good but it's definitely usable now and I think I'll be using it a lot this season. With that being said I'll be using the Mac 10 for close range and the AK-117 for mid to long range. I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay and let's get started. So our squad had a bit of a rough start. Everyone got knocked and my loot wasn't really the best because the entire area was looted already. So it was either I run away to try and fight better loot or just take my chances and go in. And I went with the second option. Enemy down. Engaging the enemy. Enemy eliminated. Area cleared successfully and I went from being broke to having one of the best loots in the game. And since I didn't want my loadout guns in this game, I only had one objective remaining, which is upgrading my class. After that, I headed towards the next gunfight, which was near the airdrop. And I really wanted to go in, but it was too risky. An open ground without any cover, not even a rock or a tree. And to make things worse, there was another squad waiting here, so I would have been dead for sure. Now, a good fighting position in this situation would be taking this hill right here. You get the high ground advantage, and you make sure you don't get third partied and backstabbed. Either way, I noticed that my teammate went down, so I headed towards him instead. And even though I chose to ignore this fight, one of the squads decided to come after me anyway. So as a pumped or a ninja player, what you wanna do when you're being chased like this is to take them to a place with buildings. Then gain some high ground and that way you avoid getting targeted at once. Just make sure you have enough distance between you and the enemies before you stop. That will give you enough time to get the high ground without getting melted in the process. Enemy down. Enemy eliminated.
airdrop is coming. Oh. This guy was so annoying. I'm not sure which gun he had, but he was beaming me with it. And I felt like he was focusing me this entire time trying to kill me. It was like I stole his girlfriend. And I really wanted to kill him, but there were too many things happening around me, I just couldn't. Drop it. Enemy vehicle is nearly done for. Be careful, the Polter guy is back. Engaging the enemy. Enemy eliminated. I knew there were more enemies inside, but they were good campers with good aim. And even if I win the fight here, there is a big chance that I die to the zone. So the safest and best decision was to wait for them to come out of their nest. Hold down to the last five teams. Enemy down. So not only they were in the open, but they were under a lot of pressure getting melted by the zone. There were two more enemies there, but sadly they died to the zone. And one of them was trying to take me with him to his grave, but it was too late. Moving on to the final stage of the game, I got lucky with the location, as it ended at train station, which means I can use the buildings around me to my advantage. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and if you did, a like would be highly appreciated. I'm still not sure if the Mach 10 is better than the Fennec, but I do know that it's strong and extremely fun to use, as long as you find an extender map. It was also fun to use the AK-117 and I'll be making a build for it this season to make it even better. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Yeah. <laughs>